Hey y'all, Lily here. In today's video, I will be showing you how I trace and cut my designs. Here I give y'all an example of how I take a three color design and separate it. If you would like to learn how to do this, then keep on watching. Should you have any questions along the way, feel free to drop a comment down below and I will do my best to assist you. Here I begin with this tongue design. As you can see, it's a three color design. In this video, I'm going to separate the black, red, and white so it can be used for whatever project you have at hand. So if I were to just try and send this design to be cut, it won't recognize it. It will only cut the outer square of the design. As you can see here, I'm going to click on it and hit cut. And it's going to cut that outer square and that's not what we want. So I need to remove the background so it can give us a precise cut. So what I have to do is go over to the trace tab, select the whole design, and then I move the threshold to 100. This is because with this method, I'm going to select trace and detach and you'll see why. So now when I send this to be cut, it actually now only cuts the outer part of the design. As you can see here, the outer part is now highlighted in red and that's what will be cut out. This is great for using the print and cut feature. If you'd like to learn how to print and cut, I will link the video in the description box below. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. In the next portion of this video, I will show you how to create a three layer design. First, I will start off with highlighting the whole design and just tracing the first part. This will be the red and white part of the design. Next, I will trace this whole design again, but this time I'm going to move the threshold down because I only want to trace the black portion of the design, as you can see here. Now that it's all traced, I can go ahead and move the design out of the way. What I like to do is head over to the fill option and then change the color. This way I can get a better visual of what it's going to look like. So for the next part of the design, which is the red and white, I'm going to click the design, move everything out the way first. Now I click the design, I'm going to right click the design. That way I can bring up this menu option. And then once the menu option is pulled out, I'm going to go all the way down to release compound path. I do this, that way I can separate these into the remaining two colors that I need for the design. Now I'm going to head over to the fill tab and change the colors. This way I have a better visual of what everything is going to look like. And now that we have our three layer design, we could go ahead and send it off to the Cameo. Now we have our three layer design. If you will be using this with HTV, always remember to mirror the design. If we don't do this, then the design will print out backwards and that's always a big no. So now if we were to click the send tab, you can see that it will be able to be cut out in three different colors now. And this is exactly what we want. So if you're going to be using this with HTV, you would just go ahead and send each color to be cut out in the cameo one at a time and then layer it together on your t-shirt or if you're going to be making a sticker you would just go ahead and cut it out and then layer it as well alrighty that's it this is how I go about tracing my multicolor designs in the basic silhouette studio it may seem a little tricky at first but I promise you with practice it does get easier but don't forget if you have any questions feel free to drop a comment down below and I will do my best to assist you thank you so much for watching this video I hope it helped have a great day